Hey, I'm Laurie and welcome to my channel. I feel like I haven't done a bar workout in forever, so that's exactly what I'm doing today. And I had a request to use this bad boy. So this is a Pilates ball, a, ball, a bar ball, or you can find one of your kids' balls laying around and just deflate it a little bit. We want something squishy. If you don't have this, a great replacement would be a nice thick towel. If you don't have this, again, not a huge deal. Now you will need a set of weights. We're going to be burning out your shoulders for that reason, since the delts are a slightly smaller muscle group. I'm suggesting anywhere between three and five pounds. That's what we do in bar. And you're going to need a chair for support. Make sure it's a nice sturdy chair. You will need a mat as well when we come to the ground for some core work. So grab all of your stuff, grab a drink of water, have it handy, and let's get to work before I have to pick up my kids. Let's go. <laughs> all right, quick warm up. So heels in, toes out. Weights are in your hand because we're gonna get into it pretty quick today. So we're keeping a nice long spine, neutral pelvis from here. We're opening up, heels in, toes out, and then we're just bringing it back together. So what's out, bring it in. Out, bring it in. Out, then in, out, four more like this. It's four, three, two, hold it out, hold it out. Now we bend, three, two, one and lift. Keep the weight heavy in your heels. We should feel this, even though our knees are sliding past our second and third big toe, which I've never been a huge fan of in bar, but I'm not, I'm feeling this in my glutes. I'm feeling this in my hamstrings by keeping that neutral spine and taking this eccentric face nice and slow. Three, two, one, lift. Three, two, one, lift. Three, two, one, and lift. Three, two, one, last one. Three, two, one, and lift. Now make that diamond shape in position in between the legs again. Dumbbell in each hand, hands go right in front. We're taking it right into lat races. Now we're gonna hold this position with the legs throughout. It's going to burn as well. Hands go together, let's get to work. So bring those dumbbells apart. Dumbbells go to shoulder level. We are isolating the medial delt, the outside of the delt, then we bring it in. Control, out, then in. Out, then in, there we go, there's that beat. Out, then in. So before we get going, I am listening to a mix that's awesome that it's not playing to you it's 130 beats per minute so if you hate this background music i'm keeping it pretty low so you have the option to play your own music if i could i would play stellar music i have really good music taste i promise so don't put in the comments i hate your music copyright issues i can't play the music everyone likes because i don't own the rights i did buy the music you're hearing which is okay but if you want something i highly recommend going to spotify typing in 130 bpms or my favorite is fit radio 130 bpms It'll get you going. Come on, four more. And three, we switch it up. Woo! Two, I'm feeling it. One, front raises, palms face you. We go straight up, straight down. Pronated grip. This is gonna work more the front of the delts. And my delts are on fire. Woo! I love working the delts. Uh, if you don't know from most of my videos, I love the shape a nice shoulder gives you. Also, we all want, not all of us, but I sure do. I like that X shape. I like the hourglass shape. It is, I think it's just the prettiest shape ever. <laughs> so when I work out, I work out a lot of shoulders and a lot of lats. I also work out a lot of glutes. When we build our glutes, our abductors and our shoulders and our lats, it makes the waist appear smaller. So it gives us that hourglass shape by building muscles, strengthening muscles in the delts, lats, glutes. It's, it's awesome. All right, you guys are ready to do this. 
Let's go. <laughs> Come on. You have four more. Three, then we switch it up. Two, hold it up, hold it up. Palms face in. We bring it wide, then squeeze the chest together. So keep it up, then squeeze. Out, then squeeze. Out, I know it's burning. You have four. Three, two, one. Bring it out to center, palms face up. We're curling it in, then out. Rebend those legs. If that diamond shape got away from you, heavy in the heels and the outer blades of the foot. Curl, release, curl, release. You have four, three, two, hold. Flip the grip to face me. We're going shoulder presses with the arms this time. We're pressing it up and then bringing the elbows to shoulder level. Press it up, return. Legs lower, legs then lower. A question I get, I've actually only been doing this for a short amount of time, but I had like a breakthrough a couple months ago. When I do my, you guys keep that. When I do my shoulder presses, I end and start in this position. I go up and then I go down and I try not to bang the weights together. So it's straight up field goal position. I can isolate the delts more if I keep it right here, then bring it down. This gets my traps involved a little bit more, which I'm just not, I don't work my traps. I don't, I don't need to, I don't want to. So this is how I like to do it. I press it up, engage. It also gets my lats to fire up a little bit more. Delts are on fire. Whew. A few more like this. Eight, seven, then you'll really hate me. Six, five, four, three, two. Hold that field goal position. Now, this is our starting position. We're going to bring the elbows down a little bit, and then we bring it up. So we're depressing. We're getting the lats engaged, and then we bring it up. Your lats are right here. So we go three, two, one. Lift. Elbows slightly behind the rib cage. Then lift. Three, two, one. Lift. Three, two, one one lift three two one last one three two one now hold we're gonna do that shoulder press again but this time you may feel the lats fire up a little bit more so extend the arms we take it eight seven six last five four three two one, extend the arms, palms face together. Rebend the knees, bend at the elbows. Keep the elbows in tight, triceps are spinning towards me, and then we straighten the arms. I'll give you a different view. So we bend, extend, bend, extend. We're working the triceps. So we're not out here. I see this all the time. Elbows in tight, palms together. You can have space in between the dumbbells. I feel like that's a little bit more challenging or you can press them in. Up to you. A few more like this. Then we have one more thing before we set these dumbbells down for good. Eight, seven, six, five. Bend those knees. Sink a little bit deeper. Last three, two, one. Hold it up. Hold it up. Okay, we're going into a dumbbell six way. So let's bring it all the way down, roll out the shoulders. Here's what we're ending on. We're holding this first position, bend the knees, palms face together from here. It's a lat raise. We bring the weights together, lift the weights overhead, control it down right in front of the heart, bring it back open. Then we go back down to that lat raise six ways. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, hence the name, six way dumbbell raises. Let's go. Lat raise together, up, down, out, control. Up, in, raise, lower, out, lower. Up, in, keep it up. You got it. Lat raise together. Overhead control, away, then down. Halfway through, four more like this. 
this sucks, but it's awesome. It is so good for you. Keeping it real. Whenever I do these in the gym, I am, I'm cursing too. It's hard. What doesn't challenge us won't change us. I lose count too. So we're doing two more and then we'll fit these dumbbells out, but not after we do eight lat raises, eight lat raises, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Here's where you really hate me. Last one. Now we hold, hold, hold this right arm, left arm for eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold the left arm, right arm for eight, eight, seven, six, come on, hold it, last, four, three, two, both arms for eight, come on, here's your last eight, seven, six, I even lost my balance, you can do it, sink, engage, four more, three, two, and one. Awesome job. Set those weights down. We're done with them. Now to the squishy part. So I didn't say this before, but you're going to need a wall. So if you go to a wall, there's got to be something that you can lean up against. If you're outside, find a big old tree or a house or something. Anyway, we're coming to wall sits. So let's have fun with this. So we're, we can decrease the range of motion to start. Don't worry, we'll come back to it. So we're bringing this ball in between the inner thighs. From here, we're getting pretty close to parallel. So ideally our thighs would be parallel to the floor below us, knees over the ankles, pressing into, pressing into the, this wall behind me. This is gonna be super challenging. Let's go ahead and begin. So we're gonna squeeze this ball for eight, squeeze, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 16 pulses, 16, 15, 14, 13. Come on, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze, you have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it in 16. Here's your last set of eight, seven, six, five, four, three, double time the pulses. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. We're going to 24, two more sets. Four, three, two, keep squeezing. Last eight, seven, six, and then we hold. Four, three, two, now hold. Keep squeezing, hold it for eight, six, four, three, two, and let's release. We're gonna make it a little bit more challenging next round, but for right now, grab your chair, place it on your mat. We're gonna get into some bar work on our chair that will pretend is a bar. So grab a hold of this. We're gonna go into donkey kicks. So uh, we're bringing this ball, <laughs> behind your leg. Now, again, if you don't have a ball, you don't technically need it. You can grab a towel and just keep that, a big towel, and keep it in between. So we're bringing this behind the right leg. We're making our back pretty flat. This is higher than what a bar would be. So I'm just making it as flat as possible. Square this right hip off to the ground, right knee beside the left. We're gonna plant our flex, your right foot. So instead of toes to shin, we're pointing it. So square off the hips, uh, forearms just resting on that bar from here. We bring it up, squeeze the glute, then bring it down. So it's up, 
then lower, up, then lower, up, then lower. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, then we hold, three, two, hold it up, now squeeze the ball, squeeze it in, in, press the ball, squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze, squeeze, you have eight, seven, six, and then we hold, four, three, two, now hold, dorsiflex at the ankle, so this time toes point towards your shin, re-square off the hips if they got away from you, bring the knee beside the left, now we're doing that same thing, it's lift, then lower, lift, then lower, heavy in that left heel, slight bend in the knee, here's your last set of eight, it's burning, seven, Six, five, four, three, then we hold, two, now hold it up, hold it up, press the ball, squeeze the ball, just squeeze, press the shin or the calf into the ball, it should burn, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one right knee beside the left we're coming into a fire hydrant this time instead of bringing it behind us we're bringing it directly to the side so you got to keep squeezing the ball readjust if we need to square off the hips flat neutral back slight bend in this left knee from here keep that foot dorsiflex we bring it out to the side then bring it in try not to let that left hip sway it is still let's go up then lower straight to the side Think of it as a quadruped lateral leg raise. <sighs> Come on. Eight, seven, woo, six, it's burning. Five, four, three, two. Now hold it out to the side. Squeeze the ball in, in, in. Keep that leg lifted in, in. In eight more, you have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. Let's uh, place this chair. Actually, you can leave the chair where it is. I'm gonna move it off so y'all can see me a little bit better. We're going back to those wall sits. I hope you guys like me after this. That's okay, I'm cool with you hating me. <laughs> I hate my trainer too. So we're going back to those wall sits. We're going to add, uh, we're gonna do it a little bit quicker like we did the 24 count, but this time, eight, eight hold, 16, 16 hold, 24, 24 hold, then we go back to 16, and then we go back to eight. So let's get right into it, let's not waste any time. Squeeze the ball, working your adductors, the inner thigh, so squeeze it on it. You can even lift the pelvic floor, engage TVA as well, always recommend that. Bring it in, pelvic floor lifts. All right, let's go. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, sixteen. Four, three, two, eight more. Come on, it's eight. Four, three, two, now hold. Twenty four in, 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 squeeze a third of the way. Four, three, here's your last set of eight. Come on, it's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, twenty four count hold. A third of the way through. I feel like I'm counting slower. Come on, eight more. It's eight, six. Now we're gonna work our way back down. 16, squeeze, heavy in those heels. Come on, eight more. You have eight, 
six. Try not to rest your hands on your quads. Now we hold, 16 count hold. Fight for it, come on, you came here for a reason. Fight through that burn, eight more seconds. Now we have our last set of eight pulses. You have eight, six, four, three, two, eight. Count, hold, come on, it's eight. Hands not on your quads. Don't cheat yourself. Four, three, two, and release from that wall. Shake it out, my goodness. Let's get straight to that other side. No breaks today. Gotta pick up my kids pretty soon. All right, so we did the right side. Now we're doing the left. One side may feel more challenging than the other. One-sided movements are great to correct muscular imbalances. And all of us have a more dominant side. So we it's great to do one side at a time. Also works your core. So keep a nice neutral spine. For this, I prefer coming here. I get better glute engagement, but if you wanna come right here, uh, whatever works better for you. I'm gonna tell you where you should feel it. So let's do it. Plantar flex or point the toe this round. From here, you gotta keep that ball in nice and tight. Bring the knee beside the right, slight bend in the right knee. Now let's bring it up, then lower. Now keep your hip point square. Don't let it rotate open. We should be feeling it in the glute and in the hamstring. Ooh. Come on, you have eight. Last four, then we hold three. Two, hold it up, now squeeze the ball in. Squeeze it, squeeze. Squeeze the ball, keep that knee lifted. Eight, hips are square. Four, three, two, now hold. Dorsiflex, so point the toe towards the shin. Bring it back down. We have 16 like this, hips are square, let's go. Up and lift, up and lift. Glute and hamstrings. Now this standing leg, I'm sure, is on fire, as it should be. <sighs> Come on, we have eight, seven, six, five. You have four more in you, I know it. Last two. Now hold it up, squeeze the ball in, 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 in. Keep squeezing. You have eight, six, four, three, two, one. Bring it back in. Last thing, keep this dorsiflex position of your ankle. We're going to a fire hydrant straight out to the side. I got to make some room because I have a wall right beside me. Here we go, straight to the side. Think of it as a quadruped lateral leg raise. So here we go. It's out, bring it in. Out, bring it in. Ooh. Don't let that hip sway off to the side. Keep this right hip quiet. It's not moving. You gotta brace the core to keep it nice and quiet. Come on, eight more. Seven, six, five, four, then we hold. Three, last two. Now hold it up, squeeze that ball in, 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 in. Here's your last eight, six, four, three, two, and one. Oh my goodness, that, whoa, <laughs> that burn. Shake it out if you need to grab a drink of water. All right, we have one thing left with the legs. That is it, then we come to the mat. Okay, so wall sits. We're doing them one more time. I know they suck, but they're good for you. So the lower you can get, not the lower you can get, but the more you can get your quads parallel, to the, the, the this, this is called a floor, to the floor below, the more challenging it's gonna be. So your option is to always reduce the range of motion. You can come up, if you sink it a little bit lower, maybe more challenging. Just make sure you're heavy in your heels. And we should be feeling it in your glutes, hamstrings, and those inner thighs. So get into position, just like the last round. Eight, 16, 24, 16, eight. Hopefully I can count. I'm not the best at it but we'll make two. So here we go. Place it in between the inner thighs, heavy in your heels. We're going to start squeezing the ball. Then we have that isometric hold. 
Let's go. Eight, six, four, three, two, hold and squeeze. Four, three, two, 16. Squeeze in. Here's your last set of eight, then we hold. Now, if you wanna put your hands on your quads, don't. Bring it right here. Now hold. You can even do this if you want. Do a little dance, do the robot. Eight more seconds. Eight, six, four, three, two, 24. In, in. Don't raise up now. Hold on to it. Our inner thighs are gonna look so amazing. Come on, eight more, then we're gonna hold. Look at me, look at me, my hands are in my quads. Yell at me, please. Now we hold. This is temporary. I know it's burning. It's burning for me. We'll get through it together. Come on, eight more seconds and we work our way back down. Sixteen pulses in, in. Eight more. It's eight, six, four, three, sixteen. Count hold. Don't rise up. You did not come this far to quit. This is where the change happens when we're super uncomfortable, when it's challenging, when the legs even start to shake. That's okay. Hold on to it. You came here for a reason. Keep it up. All right, here's your last set of eight pulses. Let's go. You have eight, six, four, three. Here's your last hold. Last hold of the day. Squeeze that ball as much as you can. Hold it. Here's your last four, three, two, one and a half, and one. Great job. Release from that wall. Wow, shake it off. We're coming down to the ground. We have a little bit of core work and then we will be along, going along our merry way. So we're going to start with some crunches. Uh, we're gonna have our feet supported by this beautiful ball. So just bring your ankles, top the, the, the back of the ankles on this ball. Make sure I prefer to have my lower back pressed into the mat at all times. So if you wanna have a slight bend in the knees, that's cool. If not, it is up to you. Let's engage the core. Draw that deep belly button up and in towards the spine, pelvic floor lifts, TVA is engaged here. Hands go behind the head. From here, shoulder blades come off the ground. Feeling that abdominal engagement. And then we bring it down. We only have eight, seven, six. Don't tuck that chin. You have four. Three, two, one. Now hold, hands go to the side. Little pulses up, up an inch, up an inch, up an inch, up an inch for four, three, two. Now we hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now release the shoulders onto the ground. Grab the ball in between, uh, somewhere in between the calves and the ankles, just in between those legs. From here, soles of the feet go to the sky. You have a hold of the ball. We're gonna work on your lower abdominals, hip raises. So use the lower abdominals to find space under the hips, then bring them back down. Now you can have the hands off to the side. You may use the hands to help guide your feet up. So if you wanna ensure that you're not, you can bring the hands behind the head, whatever really works for you. Feel the lower abdominals, do the work at your own pace. <sighs> You have four more, three, two, one. Now we hold, keep squeezing that ball in. So you're actively engaging your adductor muscles or the inner thighs from here. Now I'm gonna bring my hands behind my low back cause that feels better for me. You can do the same as well. We're going to hover the ball off of the ground 
Use the lower abdominals to engage. Your option here is to bend the knees. You can tap the heels and then bring it in. Up to you. Everyone goes for a count of three, two, one, and lift. Or you're bending the knees, tapping the heels. Up to you. Three, two, one, lift. Three, two, one. Four more. Three, two, one, and lift. Three, two, one. Two more, three, two, one, and lift, three, two, one, and hold. Last thing, we're coming into a ball toss. So we're reaching up for that ball. We switch the ball into the hands. Legs go down, arms go down. We reach behind you, try to hover the ball, hover the feet. Then we place the ball back to where it once was. Now the ball is in between the legs. Hand and arm stay the same. We go back up to reach it. Your option is to reduce your lever by bending the heels, tapping it. And you can place the ball in between your inner thighs instead of up here if you would like. You choose. We have eight total for each side, then we're done. So hover if we can. Bring it in. Whew. Hover. Take these slow and controlled. We are already halfway through. Whew. One more each side. Whew. Now hold it up. Reach for the toes with the ball, and then bring it down. Reach for the toes, bring it down. Reach, then lower. Reach, then lower. Option here is to just bring the feet down, reduce your range of motion. Reach, then lower. Reach, then lower. You have four, three, two. Ball tosses for eight, then we're done. Eight total four each way. Keep that engagement. If you need to take an option, take it at any point. This is your workout. We're halfway through. Come on, stay strong. Here's your last one. Ooh, and we're done. Place this ball off to the side. Grab a hold of your knees. Bring it in towards the chest. Oh, give your knees some circles clockwise, then go counterclockwise. Oh, let's come into a nice figure four stretch. So outside of the left ankle goes over your right quad, draw the right knee and hands go in between the space that you just created. With every inhale, gently press against that left inner thigh. Every exhale, pull the right knee in. If this is not enough stretching for you, I have stretching videos out the wazoo so check it out i have a playlist yoga stretching i think is what it's called check it out all right other side <sighs> i wanted to film a video today <laughs> before i picked up my children and uh, we got it in you and i together <sighs> all right grab all the backs of the hamstrings give yourself a few rolls up massaging your spine on the next roll Bring it all the way up. Inhale, arms reach up. As you exhale, cactus, chest lift. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Inhale, up. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, up. And exhale, hands to heart. Y'all rock. Let me know what you want in the comments below. Once I have time, I'm going to film a prenatal version of this. Let me know what you want in the comments below. I am here to create workouts for you. And guess what's coming, whether you like it or not? Workouts with heavier weights. Love it. All right, have a good day. <laughs>